So I'm driving from Orlando to Philadelphia. Straight in one day, very little breaks in between in my 2022 Toyota Venza. I have not bought many things for this car as it is a recent purchase, but I finally have the time. So here are a bunch of accessories that I bought that are functional and cute, but I will warn you, I still have things on the way, but this is what I'm taking on my ride. So we're in the car, right? And we're parked in my driveway complete safety let's run through these and i actually have not put some of this stuff in it's still in the boxes so this is going to be a learning process together but to start off let's go with the very first thing the mount so this mount is from bell and howell i got this at ross for about six dollars and it moves in every direction stretches out fairly large it is just a suction cup and this also i don't think you can see but this is also 360 at this base and I bought this and I was like you know what it's six bucks it's not gonna harm me and it ended up being one of the best purchases I have ever had it just sits over my dash like this and you see how big this goes this I love so I have two refreshments in the car first with this bath and body works one and second I have this really cute aromatherapy one I got these from an Etsy shop but I'm pretty sure you can find them online on Amazon but right now, I'm going to go ahead and put in the scent Orange Pineapple Crush. And after I peel this away, it goes right on my visor. But I'm actually going to put it on that visor right over there. So this is the reason why I don't have it on my visor. This is a sunglass clip, and I'm going to put this in real quick and show you how it's used. So as you see, I got mine in very pretty sparkly black. They had a lot of different colors, and it is magnetic. And I did bring my sunglasses to show you. You just clip that on, then you close it back up. Next, we have this vent clip. You see, I really like black, but it comes with three different types of clips, but I'm going to use this one, and I'm just gonna put it in my side clip right here and leave it hanging. The reason why I got this is to keep my change. If you know when you drive, sometimes you need change for tolls, and even though it may not be the safest keeping it right here, and does move a little bit, this is better because I have no little pockets here. And these are the other two clips that it comes with. So don't mind the messy car, but even though I'm not a fan of decals, I did get these anti-slip covers for right here. Cause if you see, I already have some scratches from when I opened this with my keys and my nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to all four doors. I've got this little pouch here and it's literally, you just hook it to both sides of your seats. And in here goes my purse because sometimes I don't want to hang it. I don't really like those little hooks that you have on the back. And of course, I got it in this felted pattern that you'll see everything else in. And on the back, there's actually two other pockets, which we're actually going to jump to the back. And I'm going to show you what that looks like because we have some stuff for there too. So as you can see, it has a really big pocket here and you could realistically put an iPad or a smaller laptop in here. And in this, you could probably put your phone, which I normally don't, but if I needed to for this road trip, this is just a very easy way to make a lot of things hand-free and not have as much clutter. And of course, that's the driver's seat. And if you reach your hand over this way, we have this. This is actually a trash bag. So you can put your hand in here and it actually is insulated. So if I wanted to use this as a cooler instead, I could, but right now it is probably going to be used as a trash bag because you have so much trash when you're on a road trip and though it is not huge it is good enough for us in the front i'm actually going to have some wipes and some napkins and stuff and this just makes it easy for me to reach my hand over from this seat to here and of course if anyone's in the back they can just toss their trash out so the next thing we have is less of an essential and more for a road trip um, this is a little cup holder tray and basically I saw this cup holder, but in here I could still put a cup down But I have a tray for food because sometimes when you're on the road, you just don't have someone to feed you So I've got this and of course it is adjustable So they have a little ring here and it has These notches and when you push this in you twist them in they get smaller or bigger depending on the car so it literally fits for almost any cup holder. It is not the state most stable item. I just messed it up, but I do think that this is a lot better than me putting food on my seat and struggling. Also, you just saw some of the other stuff. Sorry. So I actually got these at Ollie's, um, but they're by Vibe Essential if you guys want to get them. And I saw these on TikTok. And even though I don't eat much nuggets and condiments, I got them. So we're going to put them in. 
That was probably the easiest install of my life. But just to show you, this says on the edge, other sauces, most sauces, and then you can actually twist this. So this is like this right now, but I can actually, I can't twist it. <laughs> but this also pops out, so you can put your sauce in and then pop it into there. Focus, there. Okay, so we've decided that the best way to test out some of this stuff is to go to McDonald's, get food for our dippers and our tray, and because we want food. So, I have my keys, and like my bag back here, I'm actually gonna put them in here, because normally I put them in my cup holder. Of course, we're gonna put this on with these. Let's rock, baby. Can I do? Yeah, order. That'll be all. 2020 next Thank you. I thought they charge for the dipping sauces. I think that car's. What do you mean they charge for the dipping sauces? I thought they started charging for dipping sauces. I thought it was only the extra dipping sauces. Extra I'm gonna ask. Because he didn't ask me what sauces I want, which is gonna defeat the entire purpose. So I'm gonna ask at the window. I kind of like in this McDonald parking lot lighting. You know, the sun is shining in Florida. <laughs> oh, never mind. Tiny okay, so we have this cute little dipper thing. You can see your reflection in the thing. <laughs> um, I'm not going to open it. I literally am just going to show you guys. But look, we have like a good amount of food here. And just so people don't kill me, the food is for three people. Like, this is dinner for three of us. Um, we have my normal cup holder. This is the cup holder that's in the little thing. And look, we got a toy! So... I think 10 out of 10. Anyway, hopefully I'm gonna eat and I will see you guys in a second. And finally, we have this. Now, this is a power button starter. I'm actually gonna install it real quick. It just goes with some double-sided sticky tape and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because I, though this is not really functional, I am extremely happy for it. Got the sticky on there. Just gonna go ahead and line that up with the round part. Push down. And now. Now I really do hope that helped you guys if you do plan on going on a road trip or you're looking for cute car accessories or you just wanted to see the Toyota Venza because apparently that's a popular thing. Overall, I hope this helped. Talk to me in the comments, what was your favorite thing and what would you buy instead of what I bought? Now I will be vlogging my trip to Philadelphia, that'll probably be the next video on this channel so stick around. Sorry for the birds. So stick. So stick around because we're gonna have a lot of lifestyle content and my life is nothing but pretty. So even if you don't like it, laugh at me, have fun. Remember that I am always here for you. So if you like the video, like it, subscribe to be a friend. And as always, remember that I am not a professional, but I am the middle child. <laughs>